Dan Allen. I'm the uh, community liaison at JBoss, and I'm here at JaxConf speaking about a whole range of topics around Java EE and uh, enterprise testing. Hi, Dan. Welcome. So you had to talk about uh, the future of uh, Java enterprise testing. Yep. So tell me, what is the future of Java enterprise testing? Sure. Uh, the future of Java enterprise testing, we believe, is writing real tests. Uh, you know, there's when you write unit tests, those are really easy, and, and developers seem to do just fine with those, and when they move to doing integration tests, they struggle a bit, and they struggle with things like having to configure the project with extra libraries, or they're having to uh, figure out how to boot up a runtime, like uh, how do you start Hibernate, or how do you start JPA, and they have to worry about all these things. They're really not related to the test. They're really related to how the code that they're testing needs to operate. So we want to throw all that complexity over the wall, and get them focusing on the test again. So the future of, we believe, of Java Enterprise testing is taking your test and bring it to the runtime, the place where that code's going to run, rather than trying to manage the runtime from, from within the test. And when you do this, you just change the game because there's so many more things that you can test. You feel really aggressive about going out there and testing. And, and I think that makes all the testing frameworks that are out there much more approachable. So we almost make... We, we really give the developers that time to be able to use the, the testing tools that they have available to them rather than getting stuck in the mud. Mm -hmm. And do you, you have an Achillean t-shirt here. I do. Yeah, so <laughs> what this is, is our, <laughs> this is our, uh, our logo here for our project Archillean. So the name of the project I was talking about is Archillean. And this is Ike. And, and Ike is uh, an alien invader. And he is challenging the bugs. So Ike is here to kill the bugs. And... <laughs> With, uh, when you use Ike, uh, you know, we have a lot of fun with Ike. He travels around. He, he goes inside of archives and travels over to the server and manipulates servers, and, and he really controls everything in his little world. <laughs> so. Sounds good. <laughs> what were, were your other topics here at JaxCon? Well, I've had quite a number of topics. Uh, the common thread has been uh, context and dependency injection, which is uh, some may know as JSR 299, some may know as CDI. But it's the core programming model in Java EE 6. And it's really changed the game because it's simple and it brings dependency injection to Java EE natively. And, but it's the, probably the most important feature is that it, uh, it enables extensibility. So it allows you to write code and add on additional features to the platform that may not be there originally. And this, you know, we start to see projects like the Scene 3 project just trying to do all kinds of, of crazy enhancements to Java EE, but you never have to sacrifice that core programming model. You know, at the end of the day, everything you're just doing, add inject and whatever the API is that you want to use. Mm -hmm. So it, it brings up a lot of possibilities. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I've been talking about is JBoss Application Server 7. And this thing is just going to change the, the game because the assumption has always been that application servers are heavyweight and they take a long time to start. AS7 starts so fast that you think, it's, you think it didn't work. Something must have gone wrong. It couldn't have possibly started in, in 1.7 seconds. And this is done by taking advantage of modern CPUs such as quad processors and doing all sorts of indexing and uh, concurrency. So it, it's basically making every bit of use it can of your computer uh, to be efficient. And that leaves a lot of headroom for you to run your application. So no longer is the application server the heavy thing. You know, it's real lightweight. Mm -hmm. So one of the big news here at JaxConf was that uh, Red Hat has won the Jax Innovation Award. What do you think about it? <laughs> We're very excited about it. We're very excited about it, I'll say, for the first reason, because we love Jax and we really love our community. And we're so glad that this was an award that the community voted for. Um, because at the end of the day, we really feel like the community is part of what we do. They're, they're so integral to what we do. And I think that th the innovation that we achieve, it's, it, we achieve that innovation because we innovate with our community. So, you know, they bring us their ideas, they bring us their use cases. We mail, you know, we mesh and meld and, and do s all sorts of chat together. And we come up with great things. And that's, where we, that's why we feel especially proud about it. If it was just our thing, you know, then you know, I don't think we would feel 
as universally excited about this, right? This is a worldwide thing. We have developers from Australia, from the United States, from Germany and Norway, and, and you know, we're, we're all around the globe. And when we work with developers all around the globe, you get great ideas. Projects like Infinispan and for distributed data grid and Archelian for the testing and AS7 for super fast startup and Seam Forge, which is revolutionizing productivity tools. And the JBoss tools really makes Eclipse very usable. Innovation in so many places. And all of these things are starting to come together into an initiative we call JBoss Everywhere, which is that when you, you're an application developer, you can really come and use these innovations to create applications very efficiently and really be able to push the boundaries of what you thought you might be able to create yourself so our innovation becomes your innovation. Mm -hmm. And that's really what, to us, that award means. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.